In version 2 of the Arduino IDE, the serial plotter shows only the last 50 points. This makes it difficult to view fast events before they scroll off the screen. In this video, I'll show you how to edit the Arduino IDE code to make the serial plotter show as many points as you like in the Windows operating system. If you have a Mac, watch the Mac OS video linked below in the description. We'll assume that you've already downloaded and installed the Arduino IDE from arduino.cc. We'll also need to have a programming text editor installed. In this example, we've downloaded and installed Visual Studio Code from code.visualstudio.com. To begin, make sure that the Arduino IDE is not running, then open the File Explorer and select This PC. Next, find and double-click on Local Disk, the C drive. Double-click on Users. Then, double-click on your username. Next, under the View tab in the File Explorer, make sure that the Show Hidden Items box is checked. Then find and double-click App Data. Then Local. Then Programs. Then Arduino IDE. Then Resources. Then App. Then Lib then Backend, then Resources, then Arduino Serial Plotter Web App, then Static, then finally JS. Inside the JS folder, there are a few similarly named files. Look for the two files whose names start with main. You want the one whose file type is a JavaScript source file. The file you want starts with main and ends with either chunk or js. Right-click on that file and select Open With. In the window that pops up, select your programming text editor. In this example, we'll select Visual Studio Code. The programming text editor opens, showing you the contents of the selected file. We'll need to search for a particular snippet of text in this file. In VS Code, we do this by clicking the Edit menu, then click Find. In the Find box that appears, type in U equals Object. VS Code finds and highlights the matching text about halfway through the file. A few characters after this text, you'll see the number 50 in parentheses. This number is what specifies how many points to show in the serial plotter's history. Click on the number and edit it as you wish. In this example, I'm adding a zero to make the chart history 500 points long. When you've entered your new chart history length, click File, then click Save. Now you can close the text editor. The next time I run the Arduino IDE and open the serial plotter, the plotter shows 500 points before the oldest point starts scrolling off the screen.